I did some yoga with my cousin who was in town for Halloween. Um, I did the uh, child's pose and the tree pose and the, the, I don't know. Seems like yoga is just designed for people that want to fart more than they already fart. So week one is supposed to be like your strongest week, right? Because you're so excited. I worked out once. I did one run. I give myself an F plus. Like not a complete failure, but still a failure. My week one actually went pretty well compared to what I've been hearing from my compatriots. I worked out pretty steadily. I ran 12 miles this week instead of eight. So I'm actually feeling pretty good. So the wolf actually has some really awesome techniques that he wants me to work on. Um, a lot of my problems when I work out are my knees and my posture. I have terrible posture and my knees suck, but it's actually gonna help me a lot in my run. Keeping my chest up, my shoulders back, and my knees out is gonna keep them from injury. So for this first week, I was working with a lot of the basics. And so I was doing a lot of squats and push-ups. We met with the Wolf and another trainer, Christian, who's a great trainer, but is kind of terrible at hiding the fact that he's actually Spider-Man. But we still learned a lot of power and responsibility and also how to take really flattering B-roll of yourself while doing squats. I ended up with the physical activity I can do is lying on the floor and hump, humping nothing. I hump nothing at home, which I'm, I'm really used to that already, but now I have the correct technique to, to be lonely and weird. <laughs> I've been having some problems since I fell and hit my head and uh, I've been having a lot of headaches and I finally went and got an MRI done. I found out that I have a Chiari malformation in my brain, which basically means that my brain is squished out of my skull and it's putting pressure on the back of my head. I, I wasn't interested in eating right. I didn't want to work out. It's not something that is fatal, but there is a chance that this could keep me from running the half marathon. Running is something that they routinely tell people who have Chiari malformations not to do. So I could immediately, at the very beginning of this show, have my goal taken away from me. I think Meg will succeed. Like, I hope that her brain's okay. If I'm not the only one with brain damage on this team, I feel like the only thing that's special about me has been taken away. So I got a Husky recently, and it turns out he is doing everything in his power to sabotage my workouts. Uh, he jumps on me at home, he stops in the middle of park runs to take a shit, and then I have to stop as a good Austinite to clean it up, and then my time is ruined. And so when this all falls apart, I just want everyone to know that it was the dog's fault. I rescued him, and he's repaid me by fucking my workouts. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, I might, I might have to eat him. I've been, I've been really hungry. I ate like garbage all, all week, and there was a Voodoo Donuts that just opened, so I had to try 12 donuts. I'm going to the store to pick up some, some of those raw almonds and berries and the, uh, they're real important uh, fitness uh, shit that doesn't uh, give you cancer and kill you. There's been a lot of temptation. Uh, I went to a business lunch earlier this week and I had carrots while everyone else had this really nice family style fried chicken. I went to a, a pizza party and I ate a Buddha bowl with rice and chicken. Halloween was good. I got really excited about handing out candy to kids, which Gavin is like a Grinch about. And so I bought candy I purposefully wouldn't be tempted to eat. I got blow pops instead of chocolate. And then I ate three blow pops. <laughs> also some idiot left candy in the break room here and I ate about 14 red starbursts. Meg, what are you doing? I hate whoever did this, but I love red starbursts so much. I just ate two of three baby roots and um, why can't you stop now? Why can't I stop at two? Because I haven't eaten anything except donuts today. I need some substance. <laughs> Usually I'd be tempted, and you guys probably are too, but I'll tell you the secret. It's to get a root canal two days before. That is the trick. If you can do that th every year, then you're gonna be good. You're gonna be as skinny as me one day. For week one, my diet didn't go so great. I'm gonna give it four Meg faces out of five. Uh, I did do pretty good. I did good with portions. As for working out, I'm gonna give that one Meg face out of five because I only did 
one workout. So one run, one Meg face. I would give my first week zero Meg faces and three angry Josh faces. Said, you know, you want to come do this fitness show? And I was like, yeah. And then when it came to actually working out, I was like, no. Nah. Really not a good first week for me. I did some physical activity, but I also ate like somebody who's gonna die yesterday. I would give myself six out of five <laughs> Meg faces. I think I went above and beyond this week. He told me that you actually ate a slice of pizza at that pizza party. Four and a half out of five. I'm not perfect. If you're at home and you didn't have a great first week, don't feel bad because uh, I had a horrible first week and I really want to turn it around. What I'm hoping to get is some more physical exercises that I can do to show off the, the strengths that I do have. Really focus on diet and also getting a routine down. I got to fix my spine, which good luck with that because it is, it's, it's fucked. So my buff buddy for this week is One Trick Wonder on the Rooster Teeth website. He did this amazing journal and it was a breakdown of all the different supplements people take when they're working out and why you might want to take one or why you, you would want to avoid one. So your journal was awesome. I really appreciate it. And if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. My buff buddy of the week is James Enoch because he posts photos of himself every day to show his progress. And by the end of this, I'm hoping to make a quilt with all of it in a row and then it just keeps me warm at night. That's super weird. My buff buddy for the week is Bianca, who is working hard to get back down to 85 kilograms. I'll be honest, I don't know what kilograms are. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are the official graham cracker of the Insane Clown Posse, um, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know much. What, what are magnets, right? Buff Buddies is fueled by Onnit. Go to onnit.com slash buff for 10% off all supplements. Like their Tonka bar. It's made of buffalo meat. Tatanka! Dances with Wolves, the movie where Kevin Costner showed his butt and then goes on a buffalo hunt. You could be eating a buffalo that Kevin Costner killed himself. Don't hold me to that. I don't know if it's true. 